Good morning, friends. Welcome to my craft room. My name is Daryl Walter of Pickled Peppers Creative Cafe at pickles pepper, pickledpeperscreative.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today is Saturday, October 19th, 2024, and I am in my craft room with you to create. I like to come on Saturday morning and um, show you cute products and create cute projects. And so we're here today for that reason. So welcome, come on into my craft room. Super excited to have you. Um, we're halfway through October, friends. Oh my gosh, have any of you started your holiday creating yet? I am creating like a machine. <laughs> I have a couple of craft shows coming up, so I'm I'm creating a lot, and um, I hope that you're being creative as well. All right, so it is Coffee and Create Saturday. That means that you need a cup. Okay, you don't have to have coffee in your cup. I have coffee in mine, however, <laughs> but your favorite cup of drink, I hope you have it with you, cold if you prefer it, and hot if you're like me. Um, and then come on in. We're going to get started soon. So a couple of housekeeping things. One, um, when you come in, say hi. I love to chat with you. Let me know that you're here. Um, you can tell me where you're from in the comments below where you're watching from. If you're watching the replay or if you're watching live, if you're watching on Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube, um, be sure to chat with me. I love it. I will get back to your comments if I miss them during the live play because sometimes that happens, but I'll definitely get back to you. And then don't forget to like, share, subscribe um, if you like what we are sharing. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to be using today. And actually, um, I if you see, can you see this sparkly designer series paper? We're going to be using that. And the stamp set that we're going to be using today is called Enjoying Little Things. So you see all of these little things here? Look at that little puppy dog. Isn't that little puppy the cutest? <laughs> so there are lots of little things here, enjoying the little things. We have a teapot. We have um, a cupcake, some flowers. I am not sure what this is supposed to be, but there's some little sprigs there and then another flower. And then um, we have some larger shapes that you can fill in. Um, and we're gonna be using the happy birthday today. So enjoying the little things, you can find this stamp set in the mini catalog um, on page 61. And this is what Stampin' Up! has done with this stamp set. We, again, are going to use the Happy Birthday. I don't really see that they've used the Happy Birthday, so this will give you um, yet another idea if you love this stamp set. It'll give you another idea of how to use it. And then we're going to pair it with a little bit of a fun fold. So in the mini catalog, that's where you can find that stamp set. And then the designer series paper I'm using is an online exclusive. It is called Dry Brushed Metallic. It comes in two tones. The other is orangish, like maybe Cajun craze. I've used most of it up. I've had two packs, so this is what I have left of it. And I'm going to be using it today with my very favorite. If you've been around, you know one of my favorite colors is Pretty Peacock. That's what you can see in the background. So it's kind of gold, copper maybe, with the um, Pretty, Peacock, Pretty Peacock in the background. So here's a whole sheet, but I think the partial sheet is going to work fine for us today. Um, and so likewise, I have a um, full sheet of the Pretty Peacock cardstock, basic white cardstock, and this is um, the regular thickness. Our um, basic white comes in two thicknesses. It comes as what I call regular and then thick. So this is the regular. And then I have a couple of stitched circle die cuts that we're gonna be using as well today. All right, let's put 
the um, catalog aside and I am going to bring in my paper trimmer because we'll need to cut our cardstock and designer series paper and then we'll get down to a little assembly and um, hopefully you love the cute project that we're doing today as well as the, the, um, the products which are fantastic. I'm a little bit partial, but I think even so. <laughs> All right, so let's start with, um, we're gonna start with the Pretty Peacock and um, we're gonna make two cuts from this. So we need a one and a quarter by 11. So our cardstock is, um, let's push this down a little bit, is eight and a half by 11. So we're gonna put the short side up towards the trimmer and um, line it right up with the one and one quarter inch. And we'll cut, we'll make a cut right down. So it's this thin piece that we need. So we're gonna be using that. So let's set that aside. And then um, we need another piece that is four and a quarter by five and a quarter. So let's just go ahead, let's cut on the side that we've already cut on. We'll make it four and a quarter and then we'll, and then we'll cut our five and a quarter. So that's gonna give us this large piece to save for another project. And then we'll swing this right around to five and, um, five and a quarter. That's where we want it. A little bit shorter than our normal card base. All right, and then we'll save this one. We can make another card like this. Actually, let's go ahead and cut it. And that way when I'm done here, I'll assemble the card again. There we go. We have a little piece that we can throw away. And then I'm gonna put my extra piece away for now. And we'll bring in our basic white. So we need three pieces of basic white. Um, we need one that is four by 10, um, and then we need two that are three and a half inch square. So let's cut our four by 10. I'm going to go ahead and line it up once again with the eight and a half inch or the short side towards the top of my trimmer. And we'll cut this right down to four. Good morning, Julie. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to my craft room on Create Coffee and Create Saturday. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, hello. We, I'm just getting started. We're gonna make a cute fun fold and of course, pretty, pro pretty product that we have as well. All right, so we're gonna cut this down to 10 inches. So I've already cut it at four. We know that it's 11 inches, so I'm just gonna take an inch off and that way we'll get the 10 that we need. By the way, this Stampin' Trimmer is my favorite piece of equipment that I use in my craft room. It scores and cuts, um, and it's pretty inexpensive. So I, I do use it a lot. All right, so four by 10, and then we're gonna score it at five, which is halfway. Oh, thank you, Julie. I'm super excited that you're here. Thank you so much. All right, we're gonna fold this since we've already gotten the score. And you know what? I think, oh no, here we go. We have to have a bone folder and we'll get to that in a moment. So let's go ahead and cut our two three and a half inch squares. So we'll cut three and a half. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and cut this at three and a half. And then we'll cut in the other direction twice and we'll have our two squares. So this is extra. And um, we'll cut two squares. And then we just need to um, cut our designer series paper. Actually, we're gonna do a little bit of scoring to both of these three and a half inch squares. So this is extra. 
And so with these, we're going to fold them diagonally. And so I am going to score them diagonally. So if you, um, if you have this trimmer, or if you have a scoreboard, the way I like to do it is um, I like to place place it diagonal, diagonally over the um, the cut or score line, and I kind of match both of the points of the corner up. And whether I'm cutting or scoring, that's kind of what I I do. But we're only going to score this so we can fold it in half. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I get this. Um, mostly straight and we'll do that to both of them so once again corner to corner for the diagonal I am just um, lining the peaks of the corner up with the cutting groove and then I'll drag my scoring tool over them and this is what we have so easy peasy right we'll put those aside and then um, we have our die cuts. So we might as well keep everything together so we don't lose it. And then um, the designer series paper, we're gonna cut to four by five. So I'm going to cut it down to four inches first. Isn't this paper dynamic? I don't know. I am one of those people that um, flashy things definitely catch my eye. I get squirreled by them. <laughs> and so this paper is no different. Okay, so we're gonna cut it at four inches and the larger piece we don't need for now. We'll put it aside and um, we'll cut this to five. And remember, I'm gonna do two of them. And I'll cut my extra squares later. But yeah, bling and shiny things, sparkly things, I definitely, definitely am attracted to them. <laughs> Isn't the paper fantastic, Julie? I write with you. I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and um, do a little assembly. Now, um, the card base are, um, well, actually, let's call the card base the um, pretty peacock that we cut to four and a, a quarter by five and a quarter. And then we're going to mount um, the piece of basic white that was four by ten. And we scored it, remember, at five, which was halfway. And I'm going to bring in my bone folder and give it a nice crease. And also, while we're at it, let's go ahead and um, let's score our two triangles that we created. Oh, fantastic. So that's pretty good. I lined it up pretty good. And then we'll do the other one. Oops. And we'll give it a nice score. There we go. All right, so um, let's grab some adhesive and um, we're gonna glue down, we're gonna glue or adhere down. I think my DSP is a little too big. It's supposed to be four by five. I might have done four and a quarter by five and a quarter. Nope, four by five. Okay, so we're gonna cover the entire front. All right, let's put that aside. Okay, let's grab some adhesive and we'll do a little assembly. So we're gonna start by adhering the designer series paper mat to that basic white, which is going to be our card. And it should fit right over the front. So Stampin' Seal Plus is what I'm using. It's my adhesive of choice. I like it because if I'm doing, um, if I'm doing multiple layers that need to be um, adhered strongly so that they don't fall apart, the Stampin' Seal Plus is, 
is my go-to. It's my go-to, go-to. All right. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take both of our triangles that we made. If I can open them. And keeping our layer closed here, we're gonna put the triangles on each side so that we make a little, I don't know, is it an envelope fold, kind of? So I'm kind of lining them up. I want them to be in the center and we're only going to adhere them to the back. So let's do one at a time so that we make sure that we um, get them aligned because we're creating kind of flaps here. Let's move that aside. So let me add some adhesive just to one side. Remember, we're only, we're only adhering to the back. So we still need to open the front of the card. And I'm gonna kind of hover over. Oh, is it your adhesive of choice? Yes. You know, Julie, it lets the Stampin' Seal Plus lets me cheat by not having to use um, tear and tape. I can use it to adhere the elements of my card in the mats, or if I have something that requires a stronger adhesive, then it does that too, so I don't have to have multiple things on my desktop. All right, so this is what we have for one side, and we're gonna repeat that same thing. So it doesn't really matter which side of the um, triangle you add your adhesive to, just make sure you're only adding it to one side. And, oh, am I running out? This may be the end. So sad. <laughs> I think I have one on reserve though. All right, so once again, I'm just kind of hovering over so that um, I know where I wanna place it. And then I'm putting the card right up to the crease and then kind of fold it over. And I'm gonna use my bone folder to burnish it down. And so here's what we have so far. Kind of an envelope fold. And so it looks like this on the reverse side. It looks just like an envelope. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this entire layered mat and we're going to adhere it to our card base. So let's flip it right over. So I don't want adhesive on my wings. Actually, we can tuck those right in so that we don't do that. And this is one of the times where it's nice to have the, the seal plus because this layered mat is a little heavy. So we want to make sure that it, it sticks really good. Let's see, I think I'm gonna flip this piece over. I don't know, I feel like, I always feel there is a front, a definite front and a back when you cut with your trimmer. One of the sides um, kind of cur curves over to the back. And this is kind of a thick mat, so there we go. Oh no, I think it's up a little too high. Maybe I'll turn it to the side so I can see both of the sides. That might help. Oh yeah, much better. Here we go. All right. And then once again, I'm gonna just use my bone folder to adhere that pretty well. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna do is set this piece aside and we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. So I'm going to bring in my um, die cuts. And um, again, we're using the Enjoy the Little Thing stamp set. So I'm going to use that Happy Birthday, and then we're going to use that. Oh, is this a cloche? What is that thing called when you have, like, the glass top? I, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I don't mind saying that. But we have our little cupcake under 
under there. And so we're going to use that. And I've already um, mounted them. The stamps are um, photopolymer, which means they're clear and they adhere to a clear acrylic block and you can see through them. So many people prefer these types of stamps um, because you have a little confidence, right? You have a little confidence when you're stamping. So I have some confidence stamping. Um, I like to cut my shapes and then stamp, but um, if you don't wanna waste paper, it's best to stamp first and then cut. You have a little more control. I don't mind saying I'm a bit of a daredevil. And, um, oh, good morning, Marie. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes, Julie, the stamp set is super cute. I love all of those little goodies there. And, um, you know, I'm kind of on the fence about ink colors, maybe more so for the cupcake. Um, I'm trying to decide, so I brought in Pretty Peacock because we're using that and the Memento. Um, and I was going to stamp, and maybe I'll stick with that, but I don't know. I'm feeling maybe a little brown because of the bronze. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, we'll stick to the original plan. I think I'll make the cupcake with the Pretty Peacock. No. Let's flip-flop that. I'm indecisive this morning. <laughs> Marie, I hope you have your favorite drink with you. You too, Julie. What do you guys drink? Are you um, coffee drinkers? I'm a huge coffee drinker. Um, I used to love milk, but the older I got, something happened, and my belly doesn't like milk the way it used to. So I'm just tap tapping on my stamp pad to pick up some ink. And I'm going to kind of um, hover over my circle die cut. And um, I have one on reserve, but I hope I get this one placed good. <laughs> Diet Coke. Oh, for both of you, Diet Coke. Julie, you've never had coffee? <laughs> have you ever tasted it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Isn't that yummy? That's lovely. Very nice. And Marie, you're a Diet Coke. So you guys, I am not judging you because I used to be a huge um, Diet Coke drinker. I always had a Diet Coke in my hand. You never caught me except for in the morning at breakfast time. That is the, um, that's the one time that um, I wouldn't have a Diet Coke by my side. But I had surgery on my belly and so I can't drink um I can't drink bubbles anymore. <laughs> Isn't this stamp everything, Marie? It's so cute. All right, so I'm just deciding it would be nice to maybe use a brown. I, I feel like the black memento is going to be kind of stark against our um, against our designer series paper. But I'm not sure what brown would go with it. Let's let's try a brown. I think I'm going to be daring. So maybe um, pecan pie. Let's do it. You guys think I can get away? Oh, Marie, you had a cup of coffee once. You guys are so funny. I I started drinking coffee. My grandma gave it to me when I was a kid. So she was going to make sure I was a, a coffee lover. I think this looks good. Let's go ahead and live on the edge. And that way our, our cupcake can be caramel. One of my favorite cakes. Yellow cake with caramel icing. All right. So we're going to stamp our cake, cupcake right down in the center. So in that open space, you can put any of the other little elements that are there. I'll show them to you again in a second here. But... Um, because this is a birthday card, we're going to use that little cake in the cloche or something like that. In the container with the glass top that makes it look fancy. <laughs> Thank you, Marie. I think that's right. I think that's right. Yeah, you guys, I was a huge Diet Coke drinker, so we would have all been on the same page. 
All right, and then um, let's see. Maybe we'll put these two elements flat and then we'll use dimensionals when we put the wrap on. All right, so then let's go ahead and adhere our stamped layer. I'm going to show you it closely. I think it is super cute. Super cute. I love this for a birthday card. And I think that the pecan pie and the pretty peacock are working together pretty good. All right, let's take a look at what we did. Isn't that cute? Let's see, I'm turning it like a steering wheel. There we go. Isn't that cute? All right, so the happy and the birthday. Thank you guys so much for the thumbs up and the hearts. Thank you. All right, I think that's gonna look good. All right, so the last thing we need to do is um, so we're going to give this a belly band and the reason that we're going to give it a belly band is because our card is going to open like this and then like this. And this is where your sentiment or your gift card, whatever you decide to put in there, it's going to go there. And so, um, we need to hold our two flaps together and we're going to do that with a belly band. So that is what the um, extra was for. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I think I I picked the right color. I just kind of guessed that that was a good fit, and, and it turned out to be so. All right, so let me tell you guys, when I do my belly bands, I never score. I never score, that, score them. I just kind of wrap them around, um, and then I'll burnish it after I do that. And that way I get a good fit. It kind of fits where it's supposed to, if that makes sense. So I'll just fold it over on this side. So the main thing I want to do is kind of make sure that it goes on not lopsided, right? And the way you're going to do that is just by slowly wrapping and then making sure that they're squared up here. And then I kind of pinch it with my fingers and then I'll take it off and um, give it a nice burnish. Isn't this a nice um, twist to a gatefold? I think it's a nice twist to a gatefold. And you could even use a darker color. I wanted a little bit of contrast um, from that bright designer series paper, which is gorgeous, by the way. All right, and then we're going to slip this back on and adhere it. Let's see if I can find the edges. There we go. And then um, I am going to, I actually, I should take this off first. A little, another little bit of a trick is I add some Seal Plus to one end of the belly band like this. And then I'm going to um, add some on the underside. So this one goes um, on this end and this one will go on this end. So if you put it on the underside, you'll have adhesive on both ends. All right, so let's go ahead and put this back. So we're gonna put the one down and then we'll put the other down so that it adheres to each other. I hope that made sense. That was <laughs> quite an explanation. There we go. All right, and then the last thing we're going to do, we're going to add our happy birthday element. Thank you, thank you so much, you guys. I wish I had a little something else to put behind it, but we're gonna grab some Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to put the Stampin' Dimensionals right on the belly band. I'm going to use four. So this way, we are assured to hit our target, right? Oops, got an extra one there. And let's see where my take your pick tool is. I have two working desks, so it might be on my other desk. I have a crafting desk that I'm working on 
for all of my craft show goodies. In fact, I think I'm going to share some of the um, projects that I am making for my craft show. I'm going to share them with you. Not today, but we will. We'll get around to sharing them. Okay, and then I'll place this right down in the middle. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Thank you so much. And here we have, so our band will slide right on and off. And um, you guys know that I'm a big fan of stamping on the inside so it's not lonely. And um, I'm not sure. I thought about an embellishment. And we may be able to, um, no, maybe no embellishment. I don't want, I don't want it on the flaps. So let's go ahead and give our inside a little matchy match. And we're going to do that little cake. And um, let's make our little cake with pretty peacock. So I'm going to get a diaper wipe here and clean our stamp off. And then, um, and then we have a completed project. Clean the stamp a little bit. And we'll do our little cake with the pretty peacock. And I'm just going to stick it in the corner so we have, um, we have um, space for our sentiment. Oh yeah, good choice, good choice. Now we're happy inside and out. <laughs> Okay, so there's our inside. We'll close our card, add our belly band. So I think this would make it, this would make a, a nice gift card card. And here's our final project. Thank you, thank you, Julie. Isn't it the cutest? Thank you, Marie. So I think, um, yeah, I think no embellishment. I think that paper is pretty, pretty blingy. All right, so we were going to take another look at the um, stamp set, at all of the little elements. Um, there's a little checker. You see that little um, checkerboard pattern? Um, sunshine and smiles. We have hugs and kisses. This one says, may your day be filled, um, may your day be filled with enjoy the little things and then um the happy birthday of course so again we have that little flower i am not sure this just looks like a little cup or a little pot of flowers our cute little doggy <laughs> we have another little flower and a teapot and then our cloche <laughs> with the cupcake and and a bundle of flowers so this is pretty this is um pretty versatile I think oh thank you Julie I do too I think the colors are really good together thank you Pe pretty peacock it's a staple in my craft room <laughs> so once again the enjoy enjoying the little things is in the current mini holiday catalog you can find it on page 61 and there are some other um, examples for for you to recreate. Thank you. And then the designer series paper is an online exclusive. So in the description above, I'll put a link to the online store if you want to um, hop over and look. This paper is everything. I love it. And then we have our happy little card. Oh, we also used, we used um, Pretty Peacock, we snuck in Pecan Pie, and then we didn't get around to Black Memento, but you should have this if you don't. All right, you guys, let's go ahead. I'll flip the camera up so we can say bye for now. There we are. This is always a challenging thing for me. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. Thank you, thank you for hopping into my craft room and letting me create with you. Ah.
Boy, I dropped you on your head. Are you still there? <laughs> I told you that was a challenging part. I'm always afraid of doing that. <laughs> You're going to need an ice pack on your head now. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you for allowing me into your life, for letting me... Um, borrow your time and share with you. I appreciate you guys being here. I'll be back with you next week. Oh no, next week I won't be here. I'm sorry. I, I will be working on that Saturday. So I won't be here with you, but I will still share with you. And um, then we'll talk about some more fun things coming up in the future. So thank you guys so much for being here. Have a wonderful, wonderful. Oh, you're welcome, Julie. Thank you, Marie. Have a wonderful crafty weekend. I will see you soon. Bye for now.